This is the part where I tell you I have the greatest EDC ever. But I'm not going to lie to you. But I will tell you this. Those are the coolest shoes that you might find in recent days. Those are definitely the hottest. PF Flyers Sandlot Edition. If you never saw Sandlot, we just, we just can't be friends. So... Everyday carry, such a huge subject these days, at least for people who are into it. Most people carry things that they don't know that they're even carrying. They don't know that it's a thing. They just do it. And it's pretty much what I've done my whole life. And uh, I just like to share it with you guys. I have some new things here. Some things are cool. Some things are old. Some things are cool. They're all cool. I mean, I'm cool. I'm just saying. Some things are cooler than others. So this is just what works for me. It's what I've been pretty much carrying for the, a while now. That Seiko watch. The knife is new. The belt. I've had for I had this belt for I don't, I don't know two years now. My God, it's just the greatest. I there's no reason to change it. This thing here. I mean, I've had it forever. So, this is my EDC and me getting ready. And it's basically what I do every single day. Give or take going to work. My work one's a little bit different as because I'm carrying a multi-tool in a sheath with an O-light. But, it's the um, outside of work EDC. It's pretty much always the same. So... I don't know, I thought it would be fun to just share with you guys a little update on what's going on. So usually, like I'm doing, I'm checking all my gear, I usually check everything, you know. I check things before I leave, I, I um, make sure everything's working, make sure my firearm clears around, you know, it's not jamming or anything like that. Obviously, I'm not going to let shots off in my apartment, but, you know, you can do press checks and run a couple rounds through the, through the mag, but, and then I'm off. So that's pretty much what I do in, in the gist of it every day. So anyway, we'll just start off with the watch. This is the um, Seiko SNK 809 on a NATO strap. That's such a a beautiful upgrade to do to your watch. Now I polished mine. I don't know if you can see that, but it's polished. They don't they don't come polished. It's like a more like a brushed aluminum look. Um and I, I just love that. These are just some Buddhist bracelets I always have on. The Olight S1R uh, mini baton. Camera's not focusing for some reason. I don't know what was up with that, but this one, uh this is a great light for just, you know. A weekend I wear tight jeans you know and having any big lights in there make you look like you have a boner so I try to avoid that and the, the pocket clips amazing um, it's just got great knurling I've had this light for a while this is a 600 lumen and the clip will clip onto a hat which is a uh, very handy indeed so you know this here is the Fisher space bullet pen um, this is black. You'll see, you'll notice here, this EDC is particular black on black on black on black on black. But anyway, this is the Fisher Space Bullet Pen. I love this pen. It writes well. I have an art video, a drawing video with this, I believe. It might not be this one. I'm not sure. But anyway, it turns into a full size. It's brass. It's got the filler in it. It's just a great pen. Good clip. I've heard people complain about the clip falling off. I haven't had that issue. So look at that little combo. This thing here, this is my new journal. Um, I absolutely love this. I got this from Huckberry. It's quite expensive at like 60 bucks maybe I think it was around there. It's just it's a real genuine leather that's gonna patina very well. You can switch out the notebook on it, it you know and it's just a beautiful beautiful it's, it, the thing smells good. I mean just look at it. Just look at it guys. It's my black book and it's where I come up with all my ideas now. Everything for the podcast, YouTube, everything goes in there. This is my baby pen. This is the James pen. Um, this is a $70 pen, $60 pen from Huckberry. Uh, it's an exclusive. It's got an amazing clicker. 
it came with a sheath um, it writes very well I've yet to do it a drawing video with it but it is coming so and it's just an amazing pen this here uh, the Kershaw fly through black on black it's made in China but I'll tell you what man if this ain't the best made in China knife I've ever seen this thing is beautiful um, 8R8 something MO I don't know you can look it up it's been staying sharp as of oh there we go 8CR 1MOV steel uh, RJ Martin design it's got an awesome pocket clip just a really sleek design my freaking dogs like all over the place here and it's not an assisted open it's a manual open frame lock and it just works very well it's very good in the pocket deep carry clip see-through pivot it's it's kind of heavy on the heavier side for that size but man for a freaking $40 knife this thing is it's hard to beat it I love it I absolutely love this knife I might get two of them maybe three I mean I might give everyone I know one of these I'm gonna give one away too I love this knife that much that I'm gonna give one away uh, gum obviously uh, you know what do you have gum for so I have the note 9 this is the note 9 like I just <laughs> like I just said in a punked case uh, the case is a abnormally heavy but it's made out of aluminum it's high strength it's got this rubber back and it helps with the grip it's got this cool little window door for your headphones and and everything it's my dog got this one a little bit that's why it's all ugh. and i had to cut a piece out because you can't get the stylus out of it but the note 9 in beast mode i have mine set in beast mode if you want to see a video on that let me know i know all the tricks and gadgets so it's got a punk case in a white stone glass which was impossible to put on um that's me and my canon m50 hello this video is in 1080p by the way it's not in 4k i just i don't know i didn't feel like keep hitting the auto tracker so and this is a little addition for it um this is just your samsung fast charger power bank uh 5100 milliamps great it's sleek it goes on there just nicely uh you know if your phone if you know worst case scenario and it stays in that kind of little rubber thing that took like a grip i'd noticed um so my van quest wallet i've had this forever i have no intentions of getting rid of it it's just great it's got the rdif blocker see how slick i've got it hide my id Whoop, almost flashed it so bandana uh blowing your snots all kinds of deals for that gotta carry bandana man come on let's be let's be real here Log and Jotter Notebook. This is the January edition, I believe. Might be December. Not really sure, but it's my favorite so far. I love the artwork on the front of this. I collect these. The Glock 43 9mm in a QVO holster. Quick, violent over. I just love this Glock. There's no reason for me to change it because I just I love it. Although I do want something different. So as you can see, it's got um S or what the heck night sights? Uh I forget. But anyway, they're night sights. Um, and you can see Tyrant Tactical Plus One, Stipple Grip, Double Undercut, OC Customs Trigger. Uh, I almost put the mag in backwards, don't judge me. Uh, so it's just, I was looking for the camera. Those night sights are the True Glow TFX Pros, by the way. Um, so yeah, and this holster is multi cam over black carbon fiber Kydex, and it's just money. Um, it works very well for me. It's a little bit high though. One one complaint. It's hot. It, it sits high up on the belt. I don't like that very much. But uh, I'm due for a new one. I'm also due for a new gun. So anyway, it's got great retention. All the you know they're all good, honestly. But this one, this one, you know, you can adjust it obviously. And I had to move it around. See the hole. You can see the hole I drilled right there. I'm pointing at it. And um, you know, oh, missed that. But there we go. So Glock 43, Horden Diddy. Horn Daddies, Horn Daddy Critical Duty 135 Flex Locks, that little rubber thing there. That's going to help it get through jeans and clothing and doors and all kinds of crap, drywall, whatever. Great, great self-defense ammunition. Uh, and, you know, they're not like a big deal when they're loaded up in the gun. So this is the Travex Cinch, made in USA. Love this belt. That's high-grade strength aluminum. Great belt. And there's a full overall pick of my EDC. How cool does it look though? I mean, it's pretty nice, right? That Trident gum, that's the new flavor. In case you uh, were ch trying to check that out. Yeah, yeah, baby. You know, you go on a date, you gotta have gum. 
So this is my SOE tactical. I, uh, if I want to off body carry, but it's always with me. I always have this with me. Sometimes I'll just leave me my EDC bag in a car. This is with me. I have tourniquet, knife, flashlights, backup magazine in case I want to carry another mag. And it's got the little elastic holster for my gun if I want to off body, which I never really do other than when I'm at the gym. If I'm at the gym, that's on me. Go. Okay, so that's pretty much my gym carry right there. All right. And that's, that's, yeah, that's my gym bag. Unless I'm doing running. If I'm running, I have an actual gym bag because I need my running shoes. I don't. And, you know, if I'm not carrying a gun, that, that stuff goes in there. Wallet, you know, which is usually on me. But anyway. Um, so my EDC bag, my VanQuest Trident 20. Uh, we're going to, I love this bag so much. It's just been so great for me. But I'm, I'm outgrowing it and not to the sense where, you know, the gear, it's just this pocket here, which holds your laptop. Um, it's just giving me a little bit of trouble because I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Oh, look, I throw my journal in here. It goes in the back. Zip. Zip. Um, so yeah, my toothbrush. Just kind of showing you around the uh, EDC bag. It's always with me. It's in the car or whatever. But the laptop I bring because I want to do videos and edit stuff and play around on my lunch break. This is why I got the MacBook Pro. I got the 15 inch because why not? Um, and it barely fits in there. I mean, I heard people say it doesn't fit in there, but I got it to fit in there. My bag is very worn. I've had this bag for like three years now. I love it. It's the Gen 2. It, it barely gets in there, but I do get it in there. My problem is if I drop the bag. And because as you'll see, it's, you know, it's in there, but it's stretching it. You know, like if I drop that in the corners, forget about it. So I'm not, not thrilled about my MacBook Pro in there like that. So I'm due for a new EDC bag. Uh, you can see my electronics, VanQuest, EDCM Huge, my other EDCM Huge there. So that's the Apple MacBook Pro 15 inch Retina 2015 edition. And there is my EDC, guys, pretty much. There's the Glock 43. Everything's just so clean. It's such a clean everyday carry. So I hope you guys enjoy the video because it just it was a lot of fun making it in this format. I've never done this before. I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, the Kershaw, so fucking beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy enjoyed it. That's my new EDC. And like, share, subscribe, please. I would really appreciate it. That's how you support this channel. Like, share, and subscribe. It's really the only way you can do it. Um, and I, would, I really appreciate every subscription, every like, every view, and even the dislikes. Thank you. If you're going to dislike it, at least say something. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.